Let's continue with the urinary system and in this video we will be looking at the renal failure. I will look at what is the renal failure, it could be acute, it could be chronic and we will move on. Okay, so the urinary system, renal failure. So renal failure as the name suggests, it means kidney is unable to or fail to do what kidney normally does, right? And what normally kidney does? Kidney would filter the blood and then sends the urine, makes the urine that leaves out of our body. The kidney starts excreting nitrogenous waste products and acids derived from diet, whatever food intake we have, and or through the body metabolism. Renal failure may be acute or chronic, reversible or progressive, mild or severe. So, renal failure is characterized by a decrease in the rate of filtration by the glomerulus manifested by oliguria, which is the reduced excretion of urine and a rise in the blood urea, nitrogen and serum creatinine concentration. Uremia is the end stage of renal failure. We have discussed these aspects in one of the prior video. So let's talk about acute renal failure. Acute renal failure occurs when kidney suddenly becomes unable to filter the waste products from the blood. When your kidneys lose their filtering ability, dangerous levels of waste may accumulate and your blood's chemical makeup may get out of balance. Acute renal failure, acute kidney failure and I like personally the acute kidney injury develops rapidly usually in less than a few days and I'll, I'll, you will see why injury is the right word because what happens someone is already hospitalized because of having a heart attack because the of uh, a stroke because of a liver failure severe dehydration right so there is injury to the liver injury to the kidney and that's why different literature is out there uh, your preference but acute kidney failure acute renal failure or acute kidney injury one and the same thing and of course you correlate in the context specific word has been used Acute kidney failure is most common in people who already have been hospitalized, particularly in critical conditions, so on and so forth, and then in intensive care, right? So, acute kidney failure can be fatal and requires intensive treatment. However, acute kidney failure may be irreversible. So, not that every time there is a, there is a problem. Yes, you may recover soon. It depends. So, if you are otherwise in a good health, you may recover normal or nearly normal kidney function. Signs and symptoms of the acute kidney failure may include, now you know, the fluid retention causing swelling everywhere, uh, decrease in the urine output, right? Because kidney is not functioning and not filtering the way it should. You may feel tired, fatigue. You may feel weak, nausea shortness of breath, confusion, chest pain. Remember when we reviewed kidney is a team player, we have reviewed all these aspects in detail. You may have a chest pain, irregular heartbeat, seizure or coma in severe cases. Sometimes the acute kidney failure causes no signs and symptoms and is detected through lab test done for another reason. And here it shows that we need to correlate. It's not just one aspect. So someone is asymptomatic doesn't mean that things are okay. You may not realize because your first sign or first symptom would be the actual diagnosis of that condition, right? Acute kidney failure can occur when you have a condition that slows blood flow to your kidneys. You experience direct damage to your kidneys. Your kidneys urine drainage tubes, ureters, now you know, become blocked and waste cannot leave your body through your urine. So what could cause impaired blood flow to the kidney? Can you think of it? You know the answer. 
So you can have a heart attack, liver failure, severe dehydration, severe burns, severe allergic reactions, right? Or you may have a huge amount of blood or fluid loss because of injury, accident. That, that could cause all these things. So damage to the kidneys. So these diseases, conditions and agents may damage the kidneys and lead to acute kidney failure. And what are these conditions? Blood clots in the veins or arteries and around the kidneys. Too much plaque cholesterol in the uh, blood that could block the normal blood flow into the kidneys. Inflammation in those tiny filters, right? Uh, you may have a hemolytic uremic syndrome. That's a condition that results from premature destruction of red blood cells. So what happens in acute renal failure? Infection, lupus, medications, these are the, the contributors that may trigger and ultimately lead to the acute renal failure. So you can have a, a group of diseases called scleroderma that affects your skin and connective tissues. You can have a blood disorder called thrombotic thrombocytopenic purpura. And the technical underwriters are familiar with all these disorders. Um, toxins such as alcohol, heavy metals and cocaine, needless to say they all contribute, right? And you may have a muscle tissue breakdown that may lead to the kidney damage caused by toxins from muscle tissue destruction. Urine blockage in the kidneys. So you could have diseases and conditions that block the passage of urine out of the body called urinary obstructions and can lead to acute kidney injury, right? So what are the players here? Of course, cancer, blood clot, enlarged prostate, kidney stones, nerve damage. These are the conditions that may obstruct the normal flow of the urine and that can also lead to acute kidney injury or the failure. So, acute kidney failure almost always occurs in connection with another medical condition or event. Conditions that can increase your risk of acute kidney failure include being hospitalized for a serious condition, SVH that plays a role, uh, blockage in the blood vessels, you can have a peripheral artery disease anywhere in your arms, in your legs certain cancers and the treatments and the side effect of it. Uh, needless to say the diabetes, the high blood pressure, the heart failure and of course the kidney per se and or the liver diseases. They all play the role in the entire process. What can be the potential complications? The fluid buildup, right? That leads to um, Say it happens in your lungs and as a result you feel shortness of breath. Uh, the lining of your heart, pericardium, it could happen there and that results in a chest pain. Uh, you may feel muscle weakness. Why? Because the fluids and the electrolytes imbalance, are out of balance and that's why you feel that muscle weakness. Acute renal failure is there are cases where you may fully recover after a few months or so depending upon why it happened. Likewise, there may be cases where it may lead to a permanent kidney damage. Okay, And if and when that happens then you need of course uh, if it continues and it comes to end stage renal disease then we are talking about dialysis instead of kidney filtering you have a machine does the dialysis. And when you are on dialysis, that means that your kidney is not working and you are looking everywhere to find the matching kidney from the living or the dead person. And if all goes well, the, your doctor may recommend the kidney transplant. Yes, death may occur, but 
not that always that happens you may recover fully also so what is more important is because in majority of the acute kidney failure it could be secondary to other things that for which you are already hospitalized so it depends upon the associated illness and the injury right so we need to correlate and then we look at the extra mortality so the acute kidney failure is often difficult to predict or prevent but you may reduce your risk by taking care of your kidneys try paying attention to over the counter medications many people have a tendency they uh, keep on taking without consulting the doctor the over the counter medications abuse of those medications not good or work with your doctor to manage the kidney and other chronic conditions right and best thing is drink plenty of uh, fluid uh, make a healthy lifestyle as your priority be active eat sensible balanced diet and drink alcohol only in moderation if at all you have to quit smoking so on and so forth okay so that is on the acute renal failure that's all i have on this video when we meet soon i will be addressing the chronic renal failure okay see you soon take care bye bye